A then SWAT officer in Philadelphia pepper spraying protesters in the face as they sat on I-676 with their hands behind them. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Jim Donovan. They were demonstrating against racial inequities and for police reform following the murder of George Floyd. Nicoletti says he was acting on orders. Matt Petrillo is live outside the Criminal Justice Center in Center City, where closing arguments wrapped up just a short time ago. Jim, that's right. You know, it was very tense inside that courtroom today. It overflowed with supporters from both sides, including many of those in law enforcement who were there in support of former officer Richard Nicoletti. Now, take a look at that video that was seen around the country and in beyond. The incident happened on June 1st, 2020. That's when 35 year old police officer Richard Nicoletti was captured on the Vine Street Expressway, deploying pepper spray in the faces of people demonstrating against racial inequities and for police reform. This after the murder of George Floyd. Today, a jury heard closing arguments from prosecutors and defense attorneys who argued whether or not the officers actions that were captured on camera were criminal. Nicoletti's attorney, Fortunato Perry Jr., said of the prosecution, quote, they have not presented to you anyone who said Richard Nicoletti did anything but his job. He is not a criminal. But Assistant District Attorney Brian Collins had the final word and told the jury, we're talking about that one moment. If that use of force is immediately necessary in that moment, you know it absolutely was not. Now, Nicoletti faces reckless endangerment and other charges. The jury is expected to begin deliberating in a few moments after they're charged. Reporting live in Center City, Matt Petrillo, Jim, back to you. Thank you, Matt. Appreciate it.